Hello. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a bespoke customer portal. So my assumption is you've already got a service desk with queues and various things and a linked customer portal where the customer can log in and they have access to a shared help area or they have an area where they can come and raise an issue like one of these and they can click on it, fill in the form, send it, and the ticket arrives in a queue that everyone has access to. So let's say, for example, customer or organization F come to you and say they want to have their own bespoke knowledge base that no one else has access to, that they can post knowledge in or you can add knowledge in and all their users have access to it but they also want access to the, the, the knowledge base that everybody else has access to. So this is what you need to do in order to set this up. You wanna to go to projects and select create new project. I tend to use customer service management, but I think you can use anything you like. It doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna use that. And I'm going to type in the name Foxtrot as the company or their bespoke board. The team that I use is customer services and the channel, I don't want it to be open. I want it to be restricted. Create. So what it does, it creates another service desk similar to what you've got already. Now, what we don't want is the customer logging in and then being able to create issue types because that's what's going to happen at the moment if i click on raise a request i'm presented with a similar request board with a whole bunch of issues so we don't want this we want to see the same sort of setup but instead of um, request types we want to see categories and each of the categories will click in and you'll have various knowledge posts linked to that category. So what we need to do first is go to project settings, click on request types, and these are all those request types that were on that previous screen. So we want to delete them all. And delete. And finally, you want to delete this email request as well, but you'll see it's blanked out. So what you need to do is go to email requests, click the three dots at the top, disable, turn off. And when you see this letter box, you can go back to the request types, click the three dots, and now you can delete it. So now we want to go back to the service desk area and you want to go down to organizations. So currently there are no organizations set up with this service desk Foxtrot. So we want to add one. And we're going to click on F because it's F who's requested this portal. So we'll click add. Now, if I click into F, you can see user F has access or is in that organization already. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the knowledge base section. And there are a couple of template documents here already. So you would go ahead and create an article. Let's just say something very bespoke to your customer. So let's just say bespoke doc one. And obviously you're gonna have your knowledge base post in there. So I'll just publish that. And maybe I'll create another document. Um, let me just go back to queues. It's knowledge base. So there's Foxtrot, the, um, I mean, there's Foxtrot Bespoke Doc 1. Let's create another one. We'll 
call this doc2 and we'll just put the same old stuff in there and publish that as well and let me just refresh so if I click in into articles here now we should see my two bespoke documents in fact I'll create one more Okay, publish. Now if I go to articles, there should be three. It'll, it takes a few seconds for this thing to refresh and then you just have to refresh it again and you should see your article. There it is there. Now, in order for those articles to appear, you need to create some categories. The categories are like the menu items. So we'll just say cat one. I don't know it could be anything whatever you like and I'll just create category two I'm only gonna have two but I'm gonna put two articles in one and one in one so now that I've got categories so I'm in category two here I'm just gonna go and add the doc two and three and in category one I'm just gonna add the first one and back now if I go to articles you can see those articles are all in category twos or ones these ones I haven't really categorized let's just add them if they're not categorized they won't appear on the portal so right you've categorized your articles and everything that's good and now if I go back now I'm logged in as the admin of my listen at the moment so now if I go and raise a request raise a request is just give me access to the portal that's what that button does and there you can see the two categories category one and two and if I click into cat one you can see your knowledge base articles and if I go back category two there are those bespoke two and three and the other one and now if I go back to the home page of the customer portal by clicking the demo bit here at the top, I will see the, the one that everybody has access to. But if I click on this little link here, you'll see there's the bespoke portal. Now I want this bespoke portal to appear here alongside this one. So what I need to do is click on customize and go to edit home page layout. And I want to star Foxtrot and it puts it there. And then finally, I want to click on publish layout, publish layout, and boom, you've got your two um, knowledge based posts on the page. Now, if I go back to the portal and I click into organizations, you can see I've only got F in here. So that's correct. Only the user F should see that particular portal and if I go to the service desk demo and in organizations I've got A, B, C and F so any of those organizations will have access to this portal so now let me bring in customer F so here is a user I click on profile and you can see this is F if I go and click on demo customer portal and it's cached so you must remember this so once you make a change to a portal and if you've got a user logged in you should refresh or hold uh, shift F5 and that will clear the cache and there we go you see the customer portal the bespoke customer portal with the two categories and there's the knowledge if I click back out again you can see the two portals this is the service desk portal there's some bespoke help but this is help that all customers see so it's it's not bespoke and if I go back need to raise a request I've got the issue types that I can select to raise the tickets for the analysts or the service desk or, or level one people so that's great you can see that's working now I'm going to log in as another user let's say user a and they should only see the default portal 
where they can log a request or they've got those two common documents and that's what they're seeing here. So they've seen the, the standard portal where they can raise a request with the three issue types or they've got the, the standard help documents that all our customers see. And that's what you want. It's got to be separate. And that's it. That's that's how you do it. I can log out here, log back in as F. In fact, let me log in as B as well, so you can see what B can see. And then I'll log in as F again. So B will be the same as A. They've only got access to the, the common stuff. I'll log out of here. And I'll log in as F. Helps to type in the correct password. And there you see the extra portal. And that's it. That's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Once you've got to that stage, it's pretty simple.